and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be taking you through what I believe to be the ultimate belt tutorial. I'll also be showing you how to get the other things in the video's thumbnail such as the IAA badges and the stethoscope which go perfectly with these belts. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could get this video to 700 likes and if you want a shout out in the next video then comment hashtag MLTD in the comment section below. You can follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated and don't forget to join the Militated Discord server, the invite link is in the description. Okay so doing the glitch to get the belts will delete all of your player saved outfits apart from the one that you are wearing so please do make sure that you're wearing your favourite one. However the glitch to get the badges and stethoscope does not delete your saved outfits. Anyway to begin we're going to press the start button, go to online and go down to swap character. I've cut out a bunch of the loading screens to save time, but your main male character has to be in the first character slot. If it is in the second one, then this will not work for you. We're now going to go over to the second slot and start a new character. If you're able to, then I would recommend that you copy your main character's rank over to this one so that you don't have any issues buying anything and know it will not affect your main character's rank. Simply just make sure that this character is a female, then press save and continue, enter a name and take a photo. You'll then load it into a free mode online session, but first you need to watch the Diamond Casino and Resort cutscene. We're now just going to press the start button to check to see if the clothing stores have spawned on the map. If they haven't, then all you need to do is find a new session. Next, we're then just going to head down to one of those clothing stores and start browsing the accessory section. From here we're going to go into the earrings category and purchase the B&W Deco earrings. Please do not forget these as they are essential. Moving on, we're then going to go into the gloves category and purchase the light woodland tactical. If you're new to this glitch, then just copy exactly as I'm doing. So we're now going to go over to the pants section, go into the sports pants category and purchase the spotted muscle pants. We're now going to back out of pants and for now we're going to avoid the top section and instead go over to the shoe section. From here we're going to go into the sneakers category and purchase the pink plain high tops. With all of those items purchased, we're then going to go over to the top section and go into the work jackets category. We're going to need to purchase the peach camo closed field. Now if this is open for you, then just back out of tops and open up your interaction menu. Go into style and make sure that jacket which is at the bottom is set to closed instead of open. This is very important. With that covered, we're then going to go back into the top section and we're going to go into the gun running t-shirts category. Head down to the bottom of the list and purchase the blue digital t-shirt. Do not get this confused with the blue digital roll tee which is closer to the top of the list, they are completely different tops. We're now going to make sure that we save this outfit in slot 1 and we're going to call this one gun belt. Next we're going to go into the tuck t-shirts category and go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to scroll up to the blue digital t-shirt. This does have the same name as the one that we just purchased but again it is a completely different t-shirt. So just to clear that up, the difference is that this one is in the tuck t-shirts category and the one that we purchased before is in the gun running t-shirts category. We're going to save this one in outfit slot 2 and we're going to call it medic belt. Lastly we're then going to go back down into the gun running t-shirts category but this time we're going to scroll down from the top of the list and purchase the blue digital rolled tee. The names of those t-shirts are very similar so please do make sure that you are paying extra attention when you are purchasing them. For now we're going to back out of there and go into the sports jackets category. From here we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and purchase the sea green puffer jacket. With that done, we're then going to save this one in outfit slot 3 and we're going to call this one gun no belt. Okay so we still have a bunch of empty outfit slots so what I would recommend you do is watch some of my other transfer videos and you can make those transfer outfits at the same time as these. I've put a couple links in the description including the tutorial to the outfit that I was wearing at the start of the video. Whatever you decide to do, we're then going to need to leave the clothing store to initiate a force save. To do that, we're going to open up the interaction menu and go into style and go down to outfit. From here we're going to equip one of the outfits that we have saved. When you close the interaction menu, a little orange circle will appear in the bottom right, indicating that the game is saving. If it doesn't show, then just wait a minute or two and then switch outfit again and it should show up. Next, we're then going to press the start button, go to online and we're going to start up the creator. Once the creator menu loads a few seconds later, we're then going to go to create a race and select tutorial. You'll then be brought to a screen similar to this one and we're going to press the start button if you're on controller or the P key if you're on PC. Now we're going to go over to the online tab and select choose character. When the screen loads up, we're then going to scroll along to the female character and we are going to delete it. Do not delete your main male character. When the selection screen loads up again, do not select a character, instead you're going to look at the bottom right and press whichever button allows you to return to Grand Theft Auto 5. 
This will then take you up into the clouds and eventually will load you into a single player session instead of online. Whenever you're able to, you're then going to press the start button on your controller, go to the online tab, go down to play GTA Online and select go. You'll load into an online session on your male character and we're going to head over to the outfit section of this store. We're then going to go into edit saved outfits and you should then notice that the outfits that we made on the female character have now transferred over to the male character. Before we continue, we're just going to make sure that we save the outfit that we are currently wearing, which should be your favourite outfit, which is the one that you wanted to keep from the start of the video. Next, we're going to head down to the nearest ammunition and start browsing the outfit section. From here, we're going to go into outfit standard and purchase a basic outfit such as the effortless. With the outfit purchased, I'm then going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and remove the glasses so that the outfit is just a t-shirt, pants and shoes. Next we're then going to go into the weapon section and we're going to purchase a parachute from the top left but do not equip it. If you already have a parachute equipped then just remove it and find a new session. We're now going to exit the ammunition and bring up the map and from here we're going to scroll down the list on the right until we get down to the time trial. This does change location so don't worry if it's not in the same place. If you can't see it at all then what you need to do is go into your interaction menu, go into hide options and make sure that other is set to custom instead of hide. Just to make sure, I would also recommend scrolling down that list until you get to time trial and make sure it's specifically set to show. Doing this will then make the time trial show up on the map and we're now going to simply head over to it with a car. I would also recommend setting your spawn location to last location, but then we're going to drive into the time trial. Press right to start it and then hold down on the d-pad and switch to a single player character such as Franklin. When you eventually load in, you're then going to open up the interaction menu and go down to director mode and we're going to launch it. This is then going to take us into the casting trailer as the single player character that we selected, in my case it's Franklin. The shortlist actors category should be greyed out, but if it isn't then just go into shortlist actors and make sure that you delete any actors that you happen to have. We're now going to go into actors and animals and we're going to shortlist a bird such as the chicken hawk or the seagull. If you don't have any of these birds unlocked, then you need to go and collect the peyote plant from single player. Next we're going to press back and go into the online character category and from here we're going to shortlist our online character. With both of those actors shortlisted, we're then going to go back and go into the shortlist actors category. At this point we're going to hold down on the left analog stick and it will automatically begin switching between the actors. The bird isn't going to start duplicating so what we need to do is go and exit to story mode. When we can we're then going to press the start button, go to online, play GTA online and start up an invite only session. Assuming you set your spawn location to last location, you'll spawn at the time trial. We're now going to go into the interaction menu, go into style and parachute and make sure it's set to on. Now we're going to repeat the steps, so we're going to get into the car, go into the time trial and start it up and then we're going to switch to a single player character such as Franklin. Then just start up direct mode from the interaction menu and it'll put you back into the casting trailer. If you happen to spawn in as Michael instead of Franklin like I did then that is absolutely fine. All you need to do now is go back into shortlist actors and once again hold down on the left analog stick. This time though you'll notice that the bird that we selected has now started duplicating on top of the hay bale. We now need to continue doing this for the next 26 real life minutes so I would recommend that you tie an elastic band or something around your analog stick and go and do something else in the meantime. For example you can hit the like button and subscribe and maybe watch another one of my videos. Your character will then teleport on top of the hay bale and you'll be wearing this outfit so what we need to do now is remove the chicken hawk or whichever bird you selected from the shortlist. This will then take you back to an empty casting trailer and you're going to press back, go into actors and go into beach bums. You should see your online character when you're hovering over boardwalker but do not select it. If you see a normal NPC instead then just go back into actors and animals and reshortlist the chicken hawk. Then just go back into shortlist actors and switch between them a couple more times and it will then go back onto the hay bale. Remove the chicken hawk and then go back into beach bums and you should then see your online character. Now we're going to start pressing the appearance button, you can see it in the bottom right and it will then start changing your character's appearance. Keep doing this until you find a relatively normal looking outfit that has a Christmas mask. This might take some searching but when you do find one you're simply just going to shortlist the actor. After you've found one and shortlisted it, we're going to keep on changing the appearance until we find another two and shortlist those. So again, the outfits have to be relatively normal looking and have to have a Christmas mask. As a side note, the red stocking and the yeti masks do not count. But please make sure that you pick these outfits carefully because they will determine whether or not the glitch works. Also, just make sure that the outfits don't have other blacklisted clothing such as Christmas clothing. When you found three relatively normal looking outfits with Christmas masks and shortlisted them, you're then going to keep on randomizing the appearance and you're going to keep shortlisting the actors no matter what they look like. 
As you can see, I'm just shortlisting the random actors until it comes up with the message saying that the shortlist is full. Do not press OK, instead you're going to press back. We're going to continue changing the appearance until we find either an outfit that has the IAA badges or the stethoscope, depending on which one you want first. Be careful when you're looking for the badges because sometimes it can be hidden under the top of the body armour. When you find an outfit, make sure it has both the badge on the waist and the necklace. Sometimes it will only be the necklace without the badge, so please do make sure that you keep your eyes open. Anyway, once you've found an outfit with the badges or the stethoscope, you're going to make sure that you shortlist the actor and press OK when this message comes up. We're then going to press back twice and go into the shortlist actors category. When you scroll through your shortlist actors, you'll then notice that the badges are transferring over to the other ones. What we need to do at this point is pick one of the top three outfits that have the Christmas mask. Please take your time when you're deciding which one to pick because you need to pick the one that is least glitchiest. If the outfit that you pick is too glitchy, then it will not transfer to your online character later on. Okay, so once we have made our decision and selected the character, it is then going to load us down into director mode. When you spawn into director mode, you will still be wearing the outfit with the IAA badges or the stethoscope, depending on which one you picked. We're now going to need to open up the interaction menu and go down to quit director mode. Doing this will then of course take you out of direct mode and instead put you back down into single player. So once we're into single player, we're going to reopen the interaction menu and go back into direct mode. This might sound a little bit confusing, but just keep following what I'm doing. So we're now going to go back down to enter direct mode. We need to be quick on this next part, so we're going to open up the interaction menu and once again quit direct mode, which will then take us back into story. Now take a few steps forward, press the start button, go to online, play GTA online and press go. Assuming you don't get any error messages, you'll then spawn into an online session. If the outfit that you picked wasn't too glitchy, then you should still be wearing it without the Christmas mask. If you're still wearing the effortless outfit, then that means that the outfit that you picked was too glitchy or had a blacklisted item. If you disconnected or got an error message, then unfortunately you need to restart the direct mode glitch. For now though, we're going to go into edit saved outfits and if you want to, then you can try to save this outfit. However, I find that these types of outfits don't actually save, so what we're going to do now is go and make the outfit that we want to put the belt on with the badges or the stethoscope. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to make a very simple outfit and then I'm going to save it. As a side note, you cannot use the utility vest because the belt is going to replace it. Likewise, we can't wear a scarf because the badges or stethoscope will replace it. To merge the belts onto your outfit, we're now going to need to press the start button, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, and go down to verses. From here we're going to start up the mission that is called Crooked Cop and you're going to wait until the setting screen loads up. We're then going to go down to clothing and make sure it's set to player owned and then we're going to confirm the settings. We then need to invite at least one other person and you can use the auto invite feature like I'm doing here to get a random or you can invite a friend. You can also join the Militated Discord server and find someone to help you there, again the invite link is in the description. When someone joins we're then going to press play and we will eventually be brought to the outfit selection screen. Go down to Owned Outfit and press right on the D-pad to cycle through the belt outfits which are the ones that we transferred from the female character earlier on. If the badges or stethoscope disappear, then that means you forgot to add the B&W deco earrings to the female outfits. For this example, I decided to go for the gun belt to match the badges, but once you both press ready, the mission is then going to start. I will show you the stethoscope and pouch outfits after this one, but once the mission starts, you're then going to open up the interaction menu and go into Style and Accessories. From here we're going to go into style and accessories and press left on where it says gear to equip an earpiece. After doing that, we're then going to close the interaction menu, bring up the phone and quit the job. You'll still be wearing the outfit when we spawn into a session, so what we need to do now is head down to the nearest clothing store and go over to the outfit section. At this point we're just going to make sure that we save the outfit. Once it's saved, you're then free to go and repeat the direct mode glitch to either go and get the badges or the stethoscope depending on which one you got first. For instance, because I already got the badges, I went ahead and got the stethoscope and put it onto this outfit once again for demonstration purposes. After I save the outfit, I'm then just going to repeat the steps that I did before to start up Crooked Cop. Again, just make sure that the clothing is set to player owned, invite someone and then launch the job. When the mission eventually loads and you're brought to the outfit selection screen, you're going to go down to owned outfit and press right on the d-pad to cycle through the belt outfits that we transferred earlier. Because I have the stethoscope on this outfit, I'm going to go for the medic belt and then I'm going to press ready. In the interaction menu, I'm going to go into style and accessories to equip an earpiece, then I'm going to close that menu, open up the phone and quit the job from there. You'll still have the outfit when you spawn into an online session, so we're then going to need to head down to a clothing store and go over to the outfit section to make sure that we save the outfit before we continue. After it's been saved, we're then going to move on to the last outfit which has the pouches which thankfully does not require the direct mode glitch. 
To begin, we're going to start browsing the outfit section and go to the Diamond Casino Heist category. Next, we're going to go into Upgraded Tech and purchase any of these outfits that have the pouches on the front. If they're locked for you, then you need to go and complete the Diamond Casino Heist on the silent and sneaky approach whilst wearing this outfit. Like I said before, you can't use the utility vest for this outfit, so we're just going to go and remove it because the belt will replace it. Like the badges and the stethoscope, you'll notice that the pouches stay on the outfit when we change top. After making the outfit that you want to put the belt on, you're then going to go and restart Crooked Cop. Make sure that clothing is set to player owned, then confirm the settings and invite someone. When someone joins, just press play to launch the mission and then you'll be brought to the outfit selection screen, where we're then going to go back down to owned outfit and press right to equip one of the belts. For this outfit, I'm actually going to use the holstered gun and then press ready to start the mission. Now just go back into the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and press left on gear to equip the earpiece and then we're going to bring up the phone and quit the job. Unsurprisingly, you'll then spawn into a free mode session while still wearing the outfit. Just as a side note, you can actually go into the interaction menu, go into inventory and body armor and equip the interaction menu body armor. Along with that, you can also go back, go into style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on. Of course, both of these are optional, but they are additional things that you can use on any of these outfits. Whatever you decide to do, we're then going to head over to a clothing store and make sure that we save this for the last time. It might be worth mentioning that after you have saved it, you are then still free to customize the outfit apart from the top. Changing the top will remove the belt. If you want the belt on a different top or outfit, then what you need to do is just simply equip that top, go back into Crooked Cop and retransfer it. The belt transfer outfits can be used as many times as you like. Just be careful which top you pick because a very small amount of them will remove the badges. But that is pretty much it, so thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could get this video to 700 likes. If you want a shout out in the next video, then make sure that you comment hashtag MLTD in the comment section below. You can follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated and don't forget to join the Militated Discord server, the invite link is in the description. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next GTA Online video.